Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn is the eighth and latest entry into the DCEU. Despite being flawed, it proves that Warner are learning from their mistakes by producing one of the most entertaining films to date. Birds of Prey tracks Harley after a very public breakup with the Joker. This sets in motion a chain of events with Harley being forced to work with Roman Sionis, aka Black Mask for all you Batman fans out there. With half the city paying for her blood and Sionis hot on heels, it forces together Black Canary, Antres, Harley and Rene Montoya to team up. Honestly, it's a stock standard narrative to bring these characters together. It works, but it's not that great. What truly sets Birds of Prey apart from Suicide Squad are its characters. Margot Robbie, Mary Elizabeth Winstead and Ewan McGregor are all fantastic in their roles. <laughs> Robbie truly embodies Harley to the a character who despite her goofy outward appearance and whimsical nature is deeply fractured and looking for a sense of purpose. Winstead plays the stoic huntress whose solitary life as an assassin has cast her the social skills needed to function in a group and McGregor just chows up the role of Roman Sionis, a narcissist with a penchant for cruelty. It's great to watch all of these actors come together and put together some of the most entertaining performances on screen this year. The film is largely an excuse for its action set pieces and boy do they deliver. These are well choreographed and executed with enough thrills and visual style to give the film its own identity. This is no over-reliance on shaky cap quick cuts, it's entertaining without becoming overbearing. It's a thrill to watch. Each set piece feels uniquely choreographed and not just the rehash of the previous, with enough focus on each character to showcase their skills. The soundtrack is also fantastic. Birds of Prey pulls off the music video-esque feel more effectively than Suicide Squad. The music may feel a bit much, but it kind of works for the film. I do take issue with the narrative editing, often leading in and out of flashbacks, which feel a bit clunky and breaks up the pace of the film. It feels a little weird and did break the immersion. Despite all of its flaws, Birds of Prey is a highly entertaining film that is bound to thrill audiences. It doesn't break new ground with its formula, but it does what it needs to do and does it well. The excellent performances and thrilling action set pieces are bound to keep you entertained for the majority of the film. I give this film a hard 7 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm hoping to bring more content weekly so don't forget to check us out on social media. Follow us on all the platforms down in the description below. Thank you so much once again.